Well, hello everybody. This is Bill Keller with Bailey, and um, we're coming to you today with another product demo from our MVP Center here at Bailey. In one of the previous videos, we talked about pumps. So pumps, remember from last time, pumps deliver flow. Okay, so you got a pump, you got it spinning, oil's coming out of that pump, it has to go somewhere, right? Well, before it gets to your actuator, your cylinder, or motor, or anything else, it has to be conveyed by something. Now, that could be either through hose or tube, or it could be conveyed through a manifold. Okay, so many, many different kinds of manifolds that do a lot of different things. I've got a simple one here, and then some complex ones here that we'll talk about here in just a minute. This simple one is simply just a relief manifold. So you have, I don't know if you can see it close enough, but you have a P here and a T here. So the P is your pressure and the T is your tank line. So this is, it pretty much has two ports here. Well, a third if you count the relief, the, the cartridge cavity. And so pressure is gonna come up through this pressure port here. And then as your pressure port, as your oil flows through that port, you have in here a cartridge. Now this is a relief cartridge. So what happens is, and you can, there's a little hole in here that runs to the nose of this relief cartridge. And as your pressure builds, it will push on the nose of that relief cartridge. And eventually, if it reaches enough pressure, it's gonna unseat that and it's gonna allow oil to flow into the other chamber, which is the tank port. So if your pressure ex expands and it keeps going, it keeps going, it's gonna expand this, this valve, it's gonna push this valve open, and then your oil is gonna dump over, over your relief cavity. Now, there are little bitty holes in this relief, in this relief cartridge, and that will, it will it acts kind of like a whistle. So it'll make a large, it'll make a loud sound, and then it will, um, it'll kind of squeal at you, and that lets you know auditorily that your relief valve is actuated and you need to stop whatever it is you're doing <laughs> because it's not good to blow over the relief. All right, so this is a simple manifold. Now, manifolds, what they do is they provide a path for the oil to go through. Now, again, we talked about hoses. Hoses usually point A to point B. Well, manifolds can go from point A to point B to point C to point D to point E, and so on and so on and so forth. Manifolds greatly expand your capacities. Another thing about manifolds are, is especially with this guy right here, you can put a lot of valves. Now, we'll talk about valves probably in another video because that's a whole other huge subject, but you can put a lot of valves into a manifold block to do a lot of different things. Facing you, we have our work ports, and these will go out to whatever it is we want these things to control, be it a cylinder, a motor, another pump, what have you. All right, so that's all we have on manifolds today. If you want to consolidate a whole bunch of different valves, because the, the valves that these things, that this one block is, you could probably fill this room with the valves that this thing replaces. Okay, so if you want to consolidate a whole bunch of different valves into one simple compact unit, a manifold is the way to go. Now, we have a wonderful design team, and that's what they do. They design things like this. They're much smarter than I am. And so they'll take these, they'll take your design, what you want it to do, and they'll turn it into a manifold that I'm sure is going to do exactly what you want it to do. So give them a call and they'll be happy to find out uh, what you're doing with this thing, what you want to do, and they'll figure out a way to make it happen. Um, all right, that's all I got. Until next time, have a great one.